latest update on the situation of Betelgeuse baffles scientists. A unique snapshot of events directly on the surface of the red giant star should provide new clues as to when Betelgeuse will explode as a gigantic supernova. The latest observations show highly interesting changes in the brightness and structure of Betelgeuse. Are these now the decisive indications that the star is progressing faster than expected in its final phase of life? These unexpected developments raise questions about the exact date of the explosion. What exactly do we know, and should we be afraid? The latest observations of the red supergiant in the constellation Orion have once again stirred up the astronomical community. Back in late 2019 and early 2020, scientists documented a striking phenomenon that raised questions. Betelgeuse suddenly dimmed dramatically, and some thought the end of the star might have come. Betelgeuse is normally one of the ten brightest stars in the night sky, and suddenly it became so dark that Betelgeuse slipped to 21st place in the hit list of the brightest celestial bodies. What had happened? First of all, this unexpected and dramatic change in Betelgeuse's luminosity triggered an intense debate among astronomers. The state of the star was highly unusual and the sudden loss of brightness stimulated heated speculation about Betelgeuse's immediate future. Betelgeuse's dimming is normal to a certain extent. It's like the flickering of an old star, slowly running out of fuel. But the eclipses in 2019 and 2020 were particularly notable. They were seen by some experts as possible indicators of the approaching end of the star's life cycle. Stars of this type typically show changes in their brightness caused by internal processes such as convection and associated surface activity. However, the extent of Betelgeuse's decline in brightness was so extraordinary that much more dramatic processes inside the star must be involved. In 2020, the all-clear was given. The sudden dimming of Betelgeuse could be explained naturally. In 2024, the magazine Sky and Telescope reported that Betelgeuse was once again experiencing an inexplicable decrease in brightness, and there may be increasing evidence that something else is going on with Betelgeuse than scientists suspect. New Data 2024 Is the End Approaching? Have you ever thought about how scientists recognize that a star is about to explode? Events like this don't happen that often. Nevertheless, we now know quite well what is happening on and in old stars that are about to explode. Short here must be seen in a cosmic context. Betelgeuse is definitely in the final stages of its stellar life, and yet the final phases of the star can still last for thousands of years. Thanks to ever-improving technical capabilities, our knowledge of old stars and supernovae has improved enormously in recent decades. Modern telescopes such as the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope allow us to see not only the surface but also the interior of stars. Telescopes like James Webb can detect infrared radiation from the interior of the star, allowing us to see what is going on in the deep layers of Betelgeuse. The continuous monitoring of Betelgeuse by various observatories on Earth and in space aims to collect more and more data that could help us understand the causes of the frequent changes in brightness and make the most accurate predictions possible about the star's future developments. So, we know quite well what is going on around Betelgeuse, and yet scientists were surprised and intrigued at the same time when signs of dimming appeared again in 2024. In 2020, researchers found an explanation. Betelgeuse had experienced a gigantic mass ejection in which large amounts of stellar material were hurled into space. Some of the mass also formed a dust cloud that obscured large parts of the star for weeks and then dissipated again. We are also familiar with such ejections from our Sun, but they are on a much smaller scale. You have to imagine that our Sun is a thousand times smaller than Betelgeuse. So now it happened again. Betelgeuse showed a conspicuous change in its brightness and this time no signs of dust clouds or ejections were found. What happened this time, and is there increasing evidence of an explosion? Some scientists gave the all clear. They are sure that the unusual loss of brightness that can be observed at the present time are small deviations within the cyclical dimming that we have been observing for a long time. 
Betelgeuse knows two basic cycles in which it periodically dims its light. A smaller cycle of about 5.5 years and a longer cycle of about 10.5 years. Smaller or larger deviations are possible as stars are not clockworks. Despite the denials of some researchers, Japanese scientists have come to a completely different conclusion. In a study, the Japanese astronomer Keichi Maida found that the peculiarities of Betelgeuse's luminosity could be caused by subtle changes in the structure of the star and that there is no complete explanation for these changes in the current models of stellar evolution. If it happens, what will we see of the supernova? It would definitely be a once-in-a-lifetime experience if we witness the explosion of a star that is visible to the naked eye on Earth. The possibility that Betelgeuse will soon go supernova fascinates not only astronomers, but also the general public. Many people would like to see such an event for themselves, although the imminent explosion of the star also triggers fears in many people. A supernova in such relative proximity to Earth would be a unique and spectacular event. Betelgeuse is about 700 light years away from us, and the final event would be seen by anyone on Earth who is outdoors or near a window. The sky will be dazzlingly bright for a few moments, and when the light reaches us at night, the darkness will become as bright as day for a few moments. Then, for weeks or months, we would see a brightly shining new celestial body that can easily compete with the moon in terms of luminosity. A supernova originally referred to a new star. The people who witnessed these rare events in bygone eras knew nothing of stellar explosions. They thought the brightly shining remnants were new celestial bodies. People were all the more astonished when the new celestial body disappeared again after a few weeks or months. A neutron star or a cosmic nebula then remains in these places, but these are only visible with very good telescopes. Supernovae are definitely one of the most spectacular events in the universe. Massive stars in particular end in this way, while smaller stars often simply burn up. The cosmic explosions of old stars play a crucial role in the cycle of matter within the cosmos. Supernovae eject heavy elements that were produced in the cores of the stars through nuclear fusion into space. And elsewhere, this mass serves as a building block for new stars and planets. This is cosmic recycling of superlatives. In a galaxy like our Milky Way, such an explosion takes place about once a century. However, we only see at least a few of them. Supernovae are extremely rare to see with the naked eye. Around 100 years ago, the supernova SN1054 was documented by Chinese astronomers. They reported a bright event, the appearance and disappearance of a new or unknown celestial body. Today we know that SN1054 was the birth of the Crab Nebula. This supernova was so bright that it was even visible during the day, and the Crab Nebula is still an important object of study for astronomers today. In the modern age, ever-improving telescopes make it possible to observe supernovae accurately even in distant galaxies. Thanks to these observations, we know more and more about the physical processes, and yet events such as the Betelgeuse explosion remain exceptional astronomic events. Another example of a very well-documented supernova in modern times is SN 1987A, which occurred in 1987 in the Large Magellanic Cloud. The Large Magellanic Cloud is a rather small galaxy that orbits our Milky Way like a satellite. SN 1987A exploded on February 23, 1987, and was the next observed supernova since the invention of the telescope. This supernova reached a maximum brightness of about 3 mag and was also briefly visible to the naked eye. The remnants of SN 1987A can still be seen today and have been studied in detail with the Hubble Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory. The observations have shown that the core of the supernova collapsed into a neutron star surrounded by an expanding ring of material. The material was ejected during the explosion, and the gravitational pull of the neutron star holds it in place. The ring glows in different wavelengths, including X-rays and visible light. One thing is certain, Betelgeuse will explode. 
When exactly Betelgeuse will explode as a supernova remains one of the big questions of modern astronomy. Researchers speculate that it could already have happened, and that, due to the enormous distance of around 700 light years, we might see the light of the explosion tomorrow, in 10 years, or even in many decades. The time delay caused by the speed of light makes it impossible to predict the exact moment. When Betelgeuse disappears, it will not only end the life cycle of a star, but also an era in human history. Betelgeuse has played a significant role for thousands of years as one of the brightest and most prominent objects in the night sky. In many cultures, Betelgeuse has served as an important landmark and has been immortalized in many myths and legends. Around the globe, primitive peoples know this bright red star, and for seafarers and desert nomads, the star was an important guiding star that helped to determine the direction. With the disappearance of Betelgeuse, the constellation Orion, the great hunter of the night sky, will no longer be the same. Betelgeuse forms the right shoulder of Orion and is one of the brightest points in this constellation. Alongside the distinctive sword, its glow contributes significantly to the recognizability of this popular constellation. The loss of Betelgeuse will leave a clear gap in this celestial figure, and Orion will no longer be the same after the explosion. The final demise of Betelgeuse as a supernova will not only be an impressive astronomical event, but also a cultural phenomenon. It will change our perception of the night sky forever, and those who witness the event live will not forget it for the rest of their lives. Betelgeuse's demise may inspire people to create entirely new stories and myths that retell the role of Betelgeuse and Orion in human culture in new ways. The fate of Betelgeuse also makes us ruthlessly aware that even the seemingly eternal stars are mortal and subject to constant change. Although the processes take place in completely different cycles and time dimensions than life and death on Earth, they nevertheless reflect the universal nature of creation, existence, and transience. Click on subscribe now and be part of every new video highlight.